Compared to most other sports, getting into the Basketball Hall of Fame is pretty easy. So today we're going to talk about the worst players in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Calvin Murphy might be the best player under six foot in NBA history. He was only 5'9", but averaged 18 points per game for his career. But he only was a one-time All-Star and had 14 kids with nine different women. Not bad for a short king, but not enough for the Hall of Fame. Frank Ramsey was a perfect example of right place, right time. He was a six man for the Celtics team that won like 50 championships. So he ended up with seven rings. But he was never an all-star player or even that good of a player. He only averaged 13 points per game for his career. Bill Bradley is by far the worst player in the Basketball Hall of Fame. He was only a one-time all-star but won two championships with the Knicks. He averaged 12 points per game for his whole career, so why is he in? Well, right after he retired from the Knicks, he became a senator for New Jersey. And he ended up having a pretty long esteemed political career where he even ran for president in 2000. So having such a good political position, the NBA decided to put him in the Hall of Fame, as it would look good for the league having a powerful politician in the Hall of Fame.